So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be going over through what this, this file structure is anyway and um, you know some important files if there are any. So starting off with the public folder, the public folder basically if you're using create react app just remember that public folder is your folder which is of static assets right so whatever you put in here would be publicly available on the slash something and slash anything right. So for example, we are right now at index.html file, which you can just directly access by writing index.html as well. And this is this particular file, right? So create react app, which we are using the utility, which we are using under the hood actually creates a static file server on which it's serving this public folder right now. When you build this application, React is just JavaScript code, right? So it would be spitted out as a static JavaScript file anyway, when you build this, right? Because this is all JavaScript and everything. When you build this project, finally, it would be only static file. So what, what you would get eventually is a bunch of static files consisting of HTML files, CSS files, and JavaScript files. So the thing is you can always, uh, you're gonna always get static files on the final build. But for development purposes it's good to have some static files and then the source file which source folder which would be changed dynamically every time so for the public folder we have this favicon the index.html icon uh some logos from react team so let's just go ahead and get rid of that so i'm just going to go ahead and remove the logo all the logos I'm going to remove the manifest.json file. I'm going to also remove the robots.txt and the favicon file as well. Let's just go ahead and keep index.html file only. Right, so that's that. And for the src folder, let's see what we have in here. So for src, we have this app.css file, right, which is the CSS part. Just like I said, you could have different files and we are importing the CSS like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove these two imports as well. And just right here, right here, hello world right so we don't need any any sort of dependencies now I can just pretty much go ahead and remove this file right then we have a test file now we're not going to get into testing right now so I'm just gonna remove that as well index.css is uh, the file used by index.js and we're gonna come to index.js pretty soon so I'm just gonna remove this as well let's just go ahead and remove this index.js as well so I'm just going to remove service workers as well. Service workers is something which is different. So we're not going to discuss in, into React. It's strictly not React related. So I'm just not, not, just not going to get into service workers for now. And because that's the case, we're not going to get into the service worker file as well. So we just basically trimmed it down to very less files. So what's going on in index.js? Well, we see that in index.js, we are importing React, which is obviously between what we need we're importing react dom which is actually a reconciler now we're going to get into that in later videos when we cover advanced react and stuff but for now let's just think of react dom as something which converts your jsx into the dom and renders it on the screen right so in simple terms react dom takes a nested object this function this function actually takes a nested object you know a nested JavaScript object and converts this into um, I don't know just simple simple HTML DOM and puts it on the screen for you and handles it basically right so that's what it is doing and we want this to be converted into HTML and being rendered on the screen and where should I render this well I should render it inside this document.getElementById by ID and root. Now, one thing you should really know about React is that once you go ahead and give a particular element to React DOM, that is this thing, you're giving this root element to React DOM, that is this particular div ID root, make sure you're not modifying anything inside this root tag by yourself in your React code or outside your react code right because if you do that it would pretty much break down react because react how react works we're going to discuss that later but make sure you do not modify um, anything inside this particular element once you have 
started you know working with react make sure you don't modify anything inside this element anywhere in your code with javascript right so yeah uh, other than that we have dot git ignore file which is basically uh, you should pretty much know what it is it's just the files which you do not want to be committed on your git branches package.json we have already looked right and package log is just basically the log file for package.json and we could pretty much just get rid of read more.empty as well readme.md actually and yeah that's pretty much it for the file structure part and if we take a look we just get a simple old hello world right now so that's all for this video if you liked it do not forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one